Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. On today's video, I am gonna do some, just a little bit of fall DIY projects. This week was a little different for me. I did, I worked on Tuesday and Wednesday, two mornings with the new owners of my antique mall. Um, shout out to Natalie and John, who are one of the couples that owns Angry Mama's Antiques and Interiors. And I got to spend half a day with everybody, including some vendors that were also working, just asking questions and learning a ton. And you know what's even best? On the first day, John sent me home with this free piece of furniture. He said, go ahead and do the flip. I just want it out of my space. It doesn't fit with my stuff. So I took it home and it's included as one of today's makeovers. I also wanted to make sure that you local folks know to come out and support this small business, Angry Mamas Antiques and Interiors. I'm excited to say that I'm gonna be there a little bit more often to reduce the rent of my booth, to make it more profitable. And the fun part is it's a dedicated time where I can also work on my booth when it's slow and learn when, learn all I can while those kiddos are at school. So if you wanna see how this week's projects turned out, stick around. Let's get started on the first project. I got this thing a long time ago and it's time to get it done. It arrived gold, I spray painted it white, and then I put it back in my stash. But I thought it would look really good with the color that I'm using in this week's video. It's the DIY Color Skeleton Key. It is a gray color, but as you can see, there is a slight blue tint to it. It very much has French country vibes to me and I thought it would fit this perfectly. So I did two coats of the Skeleton Key paint. After that, I went back over it with a wet rag to wet distress it, and then I did a top coat with Big Top and then filled it up with some beautiful flowers that are my favorite flowers from Hobby Lobby. They're in the fall section. Guys, go pick them up before they are out of stock because they are fall. Next is this drop leaf bar cart that John gave me. He had it listed at $69 and marked it down to 35 and it was still not selling. So I get to have a little crack at it. There was a very large gap in the top there. It may have been able to be clamped back together, but quite honestly, this is such a light wood that I decided to just do you some wood putty in there. Um, I knew I was going to be painting this whole thing. There is like this old dinginess to this wood. So I knew I was going to paint it. So the first thing I did was clean it up with some crud cutter. I did do one coat with shellac, uh, the spray shellac, and I'm using that same color skeleton key on here. Um, it covers super well and it only took two coats. The wood color kind of worked for me. So I really wanted to do a wet distressing with this one and with a very wet rag and just kind of age this and make it look like I did not just paint it today. So that was kind of my goal with this project to do a nice little update with a neutral paint that somebody is going to love in their home, but it's not just a boring white or, or black and age it and I did a top coat with DIY's Big Top. Before the top coat though, I did use Durham's Wood Putty. 
and the instructions say to do a three to one ratio. Um, I think I prefer a three and a half to one ratio. I did a four to one ratio here and it was a little thick, so I added just a little bit of water, but I am just mixing up what I will use, putting it in the space. And then the trick is do as much removal as you can while the putty is still wet. That way you don't have a whole bunch of sanding. In fact, I didn't have any sanding to do with this. Um, I put it in here and then I used a wet paper towel to kind of go over it as if I was caulking something and it got all the remnants and just left um, what I wanted to be there. This next base was gifted to me by my friend Jenny, who I met at the thrift store, and she gives me loads of stuff every once in a while. Do you see a theme here today? But anyway, it's very much not my style, and I didn't know what to do with it. I grabbed this joint compound that we happen to have in the house and just decided to fill in the gaps, and I was not worried about being neat. My plan was to make it look very much like stucco. Um, I grew up in Orlando, Florida, where there's stucco houses everywhere. So there's a part of me that's not a super fan of stucco, but I kind of like the look on this project. I did probably two to three coats, depending on, um, I'd let it dry in between. I just come back to it. Then I did two coats of the prairie gray, which I used a couple videos ago and just did a DIY or, um, a top coat, the big top on top. I was going to do the black wax on top of it, but decided not to and just left it without the black wax. So this was free with all the stuff I have in my house. What do you guys think? next project was inspired by a cute project I saw on Pinterest. It was made with doilies and the original post was made by Jacqueline Smith. So I grabbed what I had. I got these doilies for about a dollar each and then this frame was from that estate sale where I got like 20 frames for ten dollars. So I decided to take it apart, do two coats of the skeleton key on the frame Next, I am going to take the backing that was already there and just do, this happens to be cardboard. I was hoping for more of a particle board, but I just went with it. I went in the basement to see if I had any scrap wood and decided I did not want to put any more money into it. Let's just see how the cardboard goes. So I did one coat of white swan and then to kind of mimic my inspiration piece from Pinterest, I wanted to do a stripe across this, but I didn't want to open any more paint. So what I did is grabbed prairie gray and just added some white to it. So it was the same color family. It was just a little bit lighter and did a nice natural stripe across it. I did not want it to be like perfect by any means. And then after I did the stripe, did the top coat for the background. Next, I'm going to paint these doilies that I had from various thrift stores. Um, I'm going to do one in the color Prairie Gray, and I did two solid coats on that. 
I'm going to do one in the color skeleton key and then keep one the original white color. I am really loving how this project turned out. I love that you can make it any color story that you would like. So if you guys like brighter colors, if you want to put some oranges and even some yellow cake batter, um, you could do that. On this one, I tried getting it wet with the mister first to see if that was any better. Um, I didn't really find that it took any better on specifically the doilies. So you could do it either way. Um, it may have spread the paint out a little bit more, but I did end up going and getting this rectangular one because I needed something a little bit taller. Um, I was originally going to go out in the yard. I grabbed some little sticks and stuff, but I really didn't like how it looked with the doilies. So I ended up making some stems out of drop cloth with some hot glue. And guys, I think this is so cute. I'm going to be keeping this for myself. I just think it is so different and so my color story. Um, let, me get, let me know in the comments below. Did you guys like this project? Is this something you would consider trying? So this last project was a thrifted apple. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but this was already on it. And you can see these are doily-like um, appliques and stuff for that seamstresses use. So if you guys ever grab a bag of these, I could totally see a bag of these being at an estate sale or a thrift store. These things were just decoupaged on to an apple it would look really cute on a pumpkin too and i am just going over this with two coats of the skeleton key and covering up what they did i could have wet distressed this but i didn't want this dark green to come through so instead i covered it with big top and then just did a little dark wax on i've I learned that I like it on the applique parts and then I kind of just drag it onto the other parts. I always like to start on the bottom so I can see if I mess up or go a little too heavy. Then I have some room to change my approach for the rest of it. 
So I really like how this black wax brings out uh, the details of the stuff that was decoupaged on here. And again, like any type of stuff that sticks up would be really cute on a pumpkin or an apple that you already have. I just happen to have thrifted it this way, but I am loving how this one looks. So did you guys have a favorite today? I think mine is going to be my Pinterest project that I tried. I'm really excited to kind of do something a little bit different with fall. Different colors, different um, items, and I'm kind of happy with how it turned out. What do you guys think? If you guys love this kind of content, I would love it if you would subscribe. Thank you guys for last week. I am over the 8,000 mark. So thank you guys, everybody that subscribed. And if you know of anybody that would enjoy my channel, please don't forget to share this and like this video if you thought it was a good one. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite was. And guys, I will see you guys next week. I hope you're having a fun September and I will see you in the next video. Bye. What you doing? Sister? Huh? Where is she? Go look out the window? Where is she? Where's Piper? Piper!